My name is Ikenna, and if you don't know me, well, I'm just a guy that loves languages. I've taught myself a handful of them, however, there has always been that one language that has escaped my grasp. That language being Spanish. I had it in school, uh, but I was pretty bad at it. I felt like languages back then just weren't my thing, that I wasn't really learning anything, and the second that I could, I dropped it as a subject. Now that was over eight years ago. However, last year, I did try to pick it up again from scratch, but I failed again. I did a seven day Spanish challenge and the seven days went well, but uh, after that challenge, I just lost the drive to keep up studying. And unfortunately, I did also run into some health problems. After battling with my mysterious declining health for months, I was eventually diagnosed with something called POTS, which is a condition that has prevented me for the last few months to stand up for more than a few minutes a day. So, I'm essentially bedridden, for now. However, you know what? I've got the Naija Warrior spirits in me now. Uh -huh. Where I'm from, we do not give up. So I've given myself four months to not only be able to learn Spanish to a conversationally fluent level, but to also be able to walk again, unassisted. This is my four month transformation. And this was month one. Day one. So the first thing I did was to change my phone's language to Spanish. This is helpful as one, it serves as a reminder that hey, it's Spanish time big boy, but two, it also allows me to come across some simple uh, and useful words with high enough frequency that eventually I learn them and remember them. For example, since in pandemic time, nobody knows what day it is, I found myself frequently checking what day it was on my phone, and when I did, I would see the name of the day in Spanish instead, and would remember it. Now over the next few days, I went backwards, I actually revised my dusty, and I mean dusty, Anki deck that contained around 300 of the most common Spanish words. I built this deck last year during my 7 day Spanish challenge and I barely touched it since, so it was definitely time to do a bit of review and build myself a nice base of vocabulary. So starting from day 3 and going to around day 10, I began a Spanish course called Language Transfer, which I talked about in my top 5 language learning apps video, and more or less it's a free audio course that covers the entire structure of Spanish. And it was honestly a amazing program to listen to while playing World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, so more or less I would listen to it for hours on end while killing other players. That was my routine. <laughs> but hey, at least I put the game in Spanish, which did actually lead me to uh, learning some interesting words. We'll put it like that. Está fuera de mi Necesito acercarme. Spanish aside, uh, in terms of my health, I also started a new workout routine with the goal of slowly trying to improve my circulation, but more on this later. So, after over a week of ganking scrubs on WoW, I thought, you know what? It's time to move on and get more serious. So I stopped playing WoW and I began using my handy dandy Pimsleur program. For those of you who know me, you know Pimsleur is my best friend. For those of you who don't know me or don't know what Pimsleur is, it's essentially an audio program that really helps with the basics and with pronunciation. I've used it literally at the start of every language that I've studied so far. I've also been partnered with them for ages, so if you want the hookup, I got you. You can try a free lesson. I put a link in the description. But basically, every morning after I woke up, I would do two to three Pimsleur lessons, which really helped hammer in Spanish sentence structure. And it also had the added bonus of introducing new words to me. In the afternoon though, I would do something a little bit different. I would watch TV shows that were dubbed in Spanish and try to spot and point out words that I didn't know. Now, <laughs> doing this, I literally burned through this uh, this Brazilian sci-fi TV show called 3%, burned through it, um, and it was super fun. But also, thankfully, using a language learning Netflix extension, I could actually see the subtitles both in English and Spanish, and I would essentially stop every time a word popped up you know a few times that I didn't know and I noticed like hey this word keeps on popping up I don't know it I would check the translation I would add it to my Anki deck and I would take a screenshot of the scene where the word was used so more or less I continued this whole Pimsleur morning and TV after 
afternoon routine for 10 days. However, around the halfway mark, probably around day 15, something really cool happened. My new merch arrived by surprise and I was so happy. I literally started speaking Spanish, which is actually really cool because I would have forgot, but I didn't. Uh, and I was actually able to record my level of Spanish at the day 15 mark for you guys all to hear. <clears throat> Ahora estoy en, en medio de mi primera mes, primera mes, y creo que aprendí mucho. No tengo uh, muchas experiencias, mucha experiencia con hablar, uh, obviamente. Um, ahora es solamente por, es solo por, uh, no, solamente para aprender y input no, no, no sé cómo 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 se dice en español pero input y sí ahora tengo tengo mi mi, mi ropa nueva va Spanish loading quizás no es aquí pero probablemente es es ahí así que I still got a long way to go check it out so yeah, I was hyped, uh, <laughs> and if you're curious about the merch, well, you're gonna have to wait to the end of the video. But aside from Spanish and clothing, uh, in terms of my physical health, uh, it was starting to improve a little bit. It actually improved to the point where I saw fit to buy an exercise bike, and I started a new program to slowly strengthen my legs, and even though I was only able to ride for 6 minutes in total, I still considered it progress. So eventually day 20 rolled around and I was feeling super motivated. I was learning, my brain felt like it was really starting to finally adjust to the structure of Spanish. However, I did have a few gray zones, namely how to properly use tenses in Spanish as well as some other grammar points. So I decided to revisit language transfer and to go through the course again, but this time without playing World of Warcraft. So every morning I would use it for around an hour and then after that I would do a Pimsleur lesson which honestly was an amazing wombo combo. But um, after that hour, I would spend the next 15 minutes reviewing my Anki deck, and after that, I would spend an hour doing something very uncommon of me. I spent an hour reading in Spanish. I don't know what you're thinking, like, wait, uh, uh, reading? You just started Spanish 20 days ago. How the hell are you reading novels? Well, but that's the thing. I wasn't reading novels. I was reading that manga, boy, which honestly is so much easier as the text is broken into smaller digestible pieces and you get to see the body language alongside when you read. Also, a good manga can be really addicting. So, uh, more or less, I started using this website called Webtoons uh, and found a great manhwa uh, about this dude whose life became a video game called The Gamer. Man, I got hooked. <laughs> I got hooked bad. Uh, when I first started reading it, um, it was definitely tough, of course. Uh, I felt like literally every 20 seconds I was translating a word that I didn't know, but eventually my vocab grew and it became easier and easier to read. Any word that I didn't know that kept on popping up and was being you know, a bit annoying, uh, I would just translate it and from there I would take a screenshot of the manga uh, and add the translation and of course the screenshot from the manga into my Anki deck. I'm not gonna lie, manga plus Anki literally has been the most fun and effective way I've ever studied a language so far. And I'm loving it. There were days I'd read for over four hours simply because I enjoyed it and because I'm a little bit addicted to this manga. So yeah, all of that was my morning routine and then in the afternoon I would just simply watch some anime dubbed in Spanish, however without subtitles uh, because I really wanted to try to boost my listening comprehension. And I followed this whole routine from day 20 to the end of month one. So, it has been a month, and what you're probably wondering is, Okay, Kenna, how, how is your Spanish? Entonces, voy a hablar en in, in español un poquito. Um, uh, no hay escrito, solamente uh, hablar de aquí. Um, estoy, estoy bastante contento con mi uh, progreso en español. Uh, no... Um, no puedo hablar muy bien, muy bueno, porque no tengo mucho, mucha experiencia con, con, con hablar, obviamente, pero um, 
Creo que he aprendido muchas cosas sobre la gramática, cómo um, crear, crear uh, los frases o los sentences y, um, como, y ahora sé, que, sé cómo funcionar um, la, la, el, no, la estructura um, de frases frases en español. Um, I might be saying that wrong, um, pero es solo el principio. Bam! <laughs> What's up? So yeah, that's my current level of Spanish. Obviously, I know I speak super, super slow, but I'm super happy with uh, my progress so far. In terms of my results, so, got my list. So in month one, I spent 40 hours watching TV, 38 hours reading manga. Um, I did 15 hours of different audio programs, both LT and Pimsleur. Uh, probably around five hours of searching grammar and like questions online and in total I've added around 300 words to my Anki deck which means the amount of words that I currently know right now is around 600 and yeah I got more or less like in total 98 hours of quality Spanish input and I'm I'm happy. So yeah that was month one. Uh, I didn't mention something earlier in the video about merch so if you're still here in the video well guess what a little surprise for you guys Bam, hopefully you can see this. But basically, um, this style, this design is now live on my website, ikenna.com. Uh, it's language loading, so basically it just shows this kind of cool retro style, um, like, you know, like you're downloading a, a language into your body. Um, it's taken us so long to come up with the designs and to, um, to come up with the website, but now it is live at ikenna.com. There's a bunch of different languages for it. So whatever language you're learning, whether it be Spanish or otherwise, there's a shirt for you, there's a hoodie for you. So yeah, just a ton of things happening. Uh, in terms of my physical progress, uh, obviously I still can't walk, but I'm able to do 10 minutes on my bike. And well, I'm able to shoot videos sitting up for a little bit before I pass out, so that's good. Um, and yeah, for next steps, next month I'm gonna be tackling speaking. Obviously, like I said, my speaking skills are really uh, la mierda. And they're not good. Um, so half of the time next month is going to be um, put towards also input, of course, again, but also the other half is going to be put towards speaking with professors on italki or tutors on italki. And I can't wait for you guys to see next month's video. Thank video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see each other soon with month two. Take care.